like a white cloud. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and he's like a white cloud. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet the Navy. You can never be sure they'll be not ring. Let his through your door. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and stuck a right cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Postman Pat, Australia, Series 1, Episode 6. Postman Pat's Secret. Australian made. It was a special day for Pat, but he was keeping it a secret. Now, young Jess, don't give my secret away. Mrs. Goggins was on the lookout for Pat. She was very pleased about something. Hello, Pat. There's a lot of post in here. Pat didn't look too happy until he noticed that most of it was for him. But who could be writing to Pat? One had a picture of wee Georgie Wood on the back of the first letter, and the other looked very much like Tom Tippers. Why not open them? Then you'll see who wrote them. So Pat did. What a surprise! They were all birthday cards. He stuck them in the row. There was one from everyone on Tasman Sogol. That was nice. But how did everyone knew it was his birthday today? Pat kept it a secret for all these years, and now they all knew. Funny, said Pat. How did they find all that out? How they know I cannot say, but let me wish you a happy birthday too, with many happy returns. Thanks. Pat came up to the bus's shed and sloping man. Happy birthday, Pat, said Tyro. Oh, thank you. Hello, said his friends. Happy birthday. Pat showed them his cards. We've made you a cake. How did you know it was my birthday? We're not telling. It's a secret. <laughs> it was a secret, said Pat with a laugh. Here's a sugar mouse for Jess, said Rookie. Thank you very much. Let's see, have I got everything? Cake, mouse and cards. A goodbye. Ow. Jess spotted the mouse. He thought he might catch it before it got lost. No, said Pat. Save it for tea time, it won't run away. But Jess wasn't so sure. I know me, Georgie. A letter for you. Oh, thank you. Yes. That's from 
a relative rock her part. And here's something for you to greet you on your birthday. It was a book whistle at the bridge. Oh, thank you. It's from Jean Thorne. But how did you know? You who read shall learn. They'll be kind of you. Well, goodbye. See you later. There were some letters for Brum. Come in. Morning. A letter for you. Fergie came in. Hello, Pat. Happy birthday. It was a drawing book about himself working in the field, seeing Pat pass. That will be interesting, the story. It sure will. When I read it, but how did you know it was my birthday? Oh, you'll have to find out for yourself. Just keep your eyes open. You're quite a famous postman, you know. Whatever does he mean? wondered Pat. He was getting more and more puzzled, <laughs> and his van was filling up with presents. There were some letters for Pat Pat. Morning, post. Pat Pat had made something for Pat's birthday. Whatever were they? Some woolly slippers. They will suit you fine, said Pat Pat. Thanks. They look lovely, and they're just the right size. How did you know it was my birthday? Oh, I can't tell you that. In fact, I'm just about to do homework. Uh, I'll leave you to do them, then goodbye. In Mount Fable, Rex and Mike showed him the box of some chocolates. That looks nice, said Pat. Our drivers made them, said Rex. They're for you. Thanks. They're lovely. The day's rounds was nearly finished. Pat was checking the letterbox to see if there were any letters to collect when Terence's attractor came up. He told him how everyone knew it was his birthday. <laughs> Don't you know why? said Terence with a laugh. I wish I did, said Pat. Terence showed him the newspaper. It was this week's Testament Times. Have a look at this, said Terence. Pat was amazed. There was a special about him headed Postman of the Year. It told him about his work, how he helped parts of Tasman Sodor doing first class on the island, where he was born, and the dates of his birthday. <laughs> well, said Pat, so that's how they knew it was my birthday. It's a lost present. Thanks. I'll show it to the wife. She'll get a surprise at this.
Petro with his van full of presents from all his friends all the way home. Tabbits went to Tony Georgia. Postman Parkins, Postman Parkins, like a white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the postbags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and he's talking like that. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waits to greet them, maybe. You can never be sure they'll be not green. Let you through the door. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and stuck a right cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man.